broadcasting from the beautiful Great Lakes state of Michigan. I'm Tom Bartholomew, your host of the Michigan Contractor Show. And I worked in the construction industry for over 25 years. I started on a job site when I was 14, working for my dad on a vinyl siding job. Now I spend all my time running a digital marketing agency where I help contractors and companies in the skilled trade promote their business and reach customers in ways they never thought possible. Again, my name is Tom, and let's get to today's guest. My guest today is a full-service electrical contractor. They serve homeowners, business owners, builders, contractors, landlords, property managers, and investors in the commercial and residential market space. Their professional, courteous electricians are highly skilled and qualified to install anything from a new outlet to new electrical service panels. I want to welcome to the show, representing On Point Electrical Contractors, Susanna Warren. Thanks for joining me today, Susanna. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you being here. So go ahead and just tell me about On Point Electrical Contractors. Okay. Well, On Point Electrical Contractors, we are based in Brighton, but we service all of Livingston County, Oakland County. We do some jobs in Macomb County, depending on, you know, what contractor we're working for and what their needs are. We don't want to disappoint anybody. So we do a lot of um, residential work. We do new builds. We do remodels. We do commercial work. We do all sorts of things. Everything from, like you said, installing outlets to we've done cell phone towers, um, lamp posts. We've been getting a lot of lamp posts lately. Um, Coming up, though, for our spring and summer jobs, we have a lot of basements coming up, which we're contributing to everyone being stuck at home over the past year and realizing that they need more usable space. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, I think that that I think you're right. I think people have been they've been in their house and they're getting tired of their old space. So they want to and and the housing market is really, you know, it's really a seller's market, not a buyer's market right now. It's it's definitely hopping the real estate market. So people just want to change what they have instead of trying to find sure. a new house. They want to change. So the, the basement remodels makes a lot of sense. So in in this company, we're talking about like the cell phone towers and and different things like that. So um, who st- who started electrical or uh, on point electrical contractors? So the owner's name is Chad Lang. Um, He actually, he's been doing electrical for decades, but was recently moved to Brighton from uh, Macomb County a couple of years ago. So we're just kind of transferring all of our business that used to be there to this local, more local area. And kind of up until a couple of years ago, really, he was just kind of, kind of doing his own thing, but had a company and now we're just really, really going for it really going for it now, probably hoping to increase our business about 30% to 50% this year. And based off of the contracts that we've signed so far from January and February, we're pretty much on pace to do that or more. So pretty excited. Um, Chad's actually been doing electrical, like I said, for decades. He was 17 or 18 years old and decided he didn't want to be washing dishes anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it wasn't for him. And there were two businesses on the same road that were hiring. One was a candy store and one was an electrical contractor. And I don't know, took the right turn and turned into the electrical company and got hired and he's been doing it ever since. So it's pretty exciting. He's, um, he's worked for individual people. He's worked for larger companies. He's worked for the union. Um, the most famous job that he's probably worked on in like Michigan is when he was part of the union, he worked on the Renaissance Center. And uh, actually when he was working for a private company, he worked for the Pontchartrain Hotel in Detroit. So it's pretty, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool anyway. So there's a lot of that. Um, Right now we're doing a lot of work for landlords and we have probably, let's see, two to four new customers that we like uh, contractors that we picked up this year so far that we'll be working with this summer too. Wow. That's a great story about how Chad kind of got a start and, and he was standing there with, 
which is my career path, candy or electric? <laughs> candy or ele- right? So yeah. I think that's great that he, you know, he was nice story about that and he took the right turn went over to electric and then, and obviously that was the correct or right path for him yeah. and so you had mentioned earlier about you were doing like some basement remodels is tell me about some of the projects that you've been doing lately so lately we've been getting like i said a lot of calls for the basement remodels we first we just got our first call for a she shed the other day so that's exciting we'll see how that turns out um we just put on a just for an estimate for it. We don't actually have the job yet, but we'll see. Um, we've been doing a lot of car chargers lately. A lot of the electrical vehicle chargers. It seems like you get one in a neighborhood and then four other people call. So we've had that going on. Um, let's see. We've been doing, a, we've been doing some generators. They're harder to come by these days. So we have been kind of trying to focus a little bit on some other things. We've been getting a lot of calls for, uh, chandeliers and other things. So we have our own scaffolding. So it's easier to, to just get in there and get the job. I know some companies rent their scaffolding, which is fine, but it's easier to have it on, on site and in the van, just pick it up and go. Yeah, that definitely helps. Cause then you don't have to worry about that. So you mentioned the generators are hard to get. What do you mean by they're hard to get? Is that something like they're they're not in stock or what? Tell me more about that. For a while, they weren't in stock. Um, I know that Chad was having just kind of a hard time getting them. And then we had one that was actually delivered damaged a couple weeks ago. And that was never, never good. So then you're trying to call your supplier and scramble to find something. And it's not, not easy these days to find those things. We've had like the price of wire has gone up. It's been harder to find certain materials. So we're definitely starting to stock more things than we used to just based off of that. It's been, you know, it's no fun showing up for a job and, you know, you need something and it's not at Depot. It's not at Lowe's. It's not at any of the supply stores. Like, okay, well, I guess I'll uh, finish this job in a couple of days then. So trying to stock more stuff. Yeah. I think that that is important. And I'm glad you said that because on another episode, Um, when I was interviewing Sid from the Builders License Institute, he said that was his tip was pre-purchased materials right now because deck builders and and home builders are having the same problems of getting materials. So even in the electrical trade. So that's, I think that's a great tip for people is, you know, pre-buy as much as you can ahead of time that you know you're going to, because you know you're going to, you're going to be using some 14-2 wire, right? So some 14-3 or 12-2 or something. (laughs) So, you know, you might as well get some big old rolls of it right now. Uh, That makes a lot of sense. So you had talked earlier about um, you had worked for some landlords lately. Mm-hmm. Is that something that that you guys like to do with landlords? I would think that they would need, a, it would be a good kind of a relationship with a landlord. If I was a landlord and I had a bunch of places, I would probably want to have an electrical contractor. Tell me a little more about that. Sure. So actually, that's how I met Chad is through the landlord that I work for. Um, about, I'm going to say 10 to 12 years ago, he a friend referred him to my boss and my boss has actually built buildings in Ann Arbor and he just loved Chad so much. And he's pretty much been our go-to electrician for over a decade. Um, He said that he was the most honest, reliable electrician he had ever met and he didn't want anyone else working with him. So it was kind of cool. So I've always known, um, like kind of known of each other for the past decade, I guess, um, but recently decided that we would be a good fit. And now we're engaged. And now I do all of the on point, like work that he doesn't want to do. <laughs> like, like, you know, the, the, the kind of tedious paperwork stuff, it frees up his time to go and do more of the interacting with customers and go and get more estimates, get more jobs out there, that kind of thing. So it's all right. I do all of the social media, which is just Facebook at this point, because we don't have an Instagram and haven't really found a need for that yet. So I do all of that stuff. Okay. Well, that's a great story. So you were working, <clears throat> sound like you're still working for this landlord. Yes. Right? Yep. Yep. And Sorry. I, I guess I was all over the that, place. No, that's good. I want to <laughs> just kind of maybe break it down a little bit so everybody sure. can, can understand just a bit. Yeah. You were working for yeah. this landlord. He had yep. probably went through different electricians and we know there's, there's good and bad, right? So I've seen yeah, he had maybe a run of bad electricians ended up hiring Chad one time. Mm-hmm. 
said, man, you, you did great work. You're, you know, you're honest. All this stuff that you were talking about showed up when you say you're going to show up. Right. And do what you say you're going to do. And he's like, I got to, I want Chad. Let's hire him all the time. So that left impression on you. You're like, Oh, Chad. Okay. And then you got to know Chad. And then you guys are now engaged. Oh, very exciting. Yeah. Congratulations. That's exciting. Thank you. Yes. And then, so now besides working, you know, that other job you help with his business. So you help with the, some paperwork and Facebook. So tell me about what you do on Facebook and how that fits in with your marketing. Sure. Um, I mostly just post our pictures and try to connect with other local contractors on there. Actually, um, of the new clients we've picked up, I would say the past four of them have been through Facebook. We like to look for some of the smaller to mid-size um, contractors. We're not we like to find groups of people that we can build a relationship with and work for, you know, forever. We're not like your one and done contractor or electrician. We want to build lasting relationships and be able to work on projects together and we trust each other and, and go from there. Well, I think that that is very important in the construction trades is trust. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. And and it sounds like Chad really, you know, at least the landlord that you work for really raved about him. And yep. so it sounds like he's doing a good job. And so how big of a crew do you guys have? So right now there's uh, three of them and, and one of me. So we kind of are a little demanding for our guys right now because we're ever since the shutdown opened back up and I think it was June of last year, we have been slammed. And I think in probably in June and July, Chad was getting up to sometimes a dozen calls a day for new work back in the summer. So we are already super slammed coming forward for the spring. So we're looking for another journeyman. It seems to be a constant struggle of trying to find a good qualified journeyman that will show up to work and do a really good job. So we're, we're definitely hiring for that um, coming for the summer. We'd like to have a couple more crews going by the end of the summer. We'll hopefully get there with our goals of our 30% to 50% increase in business this year. I think, I think we'll get there. It's just finding the workers is kind of a delicate balance. You know, you have to, you have to have the workers to get the jobs, but you also have to have the jobs to get the workers. So it's a constant struggle between, you know, balancing that out. We get a lot of applications from people who are really new in the game, and we would love to be able to help those people. We're just not quite there yet. Like Chad is a great teacher, and he's really, really patient. And I think that once we can get some more crews up and running, then we'll be able to take some more apprentice and just kind of teach them the trade. Well, I think that's good. So you, so you have a you have kind of a small crew, medium-sized crew, I would say, and and you're also looking to expand because, like you said, this year has been busy for you, and so I think you kind of, maybe you're in that position now. You say you, you got to have enough work to hire a person, but you got to have that yep. person to get the work, but it sounds like you maybe are scheduled up far enough where you're ready for that. So they can always find, if they're interested, if there's a journeyman listening, maybe wanting to make a change or ready for his next step or something, they can get a hold of you at electriconpoint.com is your website, correct? Yep. And then um, the last, the person that we have working for us currently, the most recent hire, I actually found him on Facebook too. So a lot of our employment leads and other things all come from Facebook. Yeah, I tried the, um, we tried Indeed, we've tried... Um, what's the other one? ZipRecruiter. We tried ZipRecruiter. We get some leads through there for people, but they're not, not a lot. Um, we've also um, tried, what was it called? I can't think of it at the moment. There was another website we tried. So I think the moral of it is you've tried a, some of these other recruiting sites and and mm -hmm. that didn't really work out, but Facebook has been working good. Now, right. you've also talked about marketing on Facebook and you post some photos or something, where do you look for your customers at on Facebook? Like, So a lot of our residential customers come from local Facebook groups. 
where at one point in time, either like I've seen that they look, they're looking for a local electrician, electrician. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, try chat at electriconpoint.com or whatever. Here's his phone number. Um, but now it's the point where we're on a couple of those sites and some of our clients are also promoting us. So that's pretty cool. We've had homeowners on there. Um, we have great reviews on Facebook, on Google, on Yelp, but everywhere you go, people are are pretty excited about our work. So that's good. It's nice to get on those sites now and see that, you know, it's not necessarily me just being like, hey, come call us. We can do it. You know, there are other people that are like, hey, actually, this is a legit company and, and they were great to work with. So that's cool. Um, for contractors, I kind of just search Google and I look for contractors in Livingston County or contractors in Oakland County. And then I try to find their Facebook page. And then I just send them a message like, hey, I'm the admin here and I'm looking for other contracts and contractors in the area to connect with. And I don't contact everyone. I, I check their reviews. I make sure that they're honest people because we want to work with other reputable contractors. So we make sure that we target those smaller companies like that. I, I think that's great. I think they, that you are doing your due diligence. You're, you're taking the time. You're not just uh, relying maybe only on Facebook groups, but to connect with the contractors, you're actually going out, you're searching for them on Google, putting the time in, making sure they're reputable. They have a good reputation like you. You wouldn't want to be, you know, mixed with someone that doesn't, right? Right. And, and, and then you're reaching out to them. So I think that's great. You're, you're doing your due diligence on there. And, and, and I think that's just great advice for people just in general when you're trying to promote your company that you just you have to do it. You have to go out there and you have to participate in those groups. And I know I when I work with contractors on their marketing, the first thing that I have them do is fill out a customer profile, a customer persona, right? Because if you don't know who your customer is, right? How can you find them? So I think that's great advice. Great advice for you talking about. Yeah, we've tried the, we've tried mailers, we've tried flyers, we tried postcards, and I don't think that we've received even more than a couple calls, maybe. And I don't, I don't think anything came of those. Actually, it's mostly been, mostly been Facebook direct contact. Well, that's a, you know, that is great. Like I said, great advice you, and due diligence. I don't think it's just Facebook. It's you actually putting that time in to, to get into, find the groups where people are at. You said you're in Brighton. So I'm sure there's a lot of Brighton Facebook groups and, and getting in there and seeing other people promote you, which is always great. It's always great to have promoters of your business. And cause that speaks louder. If somebody else posts, Hey, this is a great company versus you saying, Hey, we're a great company. That's right. spe that speaks volumes for sure. So you guys are right there in Brighton, and I know Brighton's got a great community. And you, when we talked before, you'd mentioned about you guys like to give back to the community. Tell us a little bit about what you do or how you're involved with the community there. Okay. Well, we actually have a, a bunch of kids. It feels like so many. There's four of them, but it feels like all of the kids. It feels like there's just so many. Um, so we like to support our local schools. Uh, we give back to the PTO. We are part of the, um, we donate to the orchestra program. My oldest son is in orchestra. So we donate to that. We are part of the last year, the Brighton, um, I think it was called a Brighton Elves giveaway where we, not like giveaway, but um, we bought some local presents for local local families in need and then dropped them off at one of the designated locations. We've given back to the Livingston Hunger Council. We go to the food banks and drop off food to the kids. Like we, we just really want to give back to the community that gives so much to us because without without the local people that are calling the local contractors, the homeowners that need this and this or that like we wouldn't we wouldn't be here so the best thing we can do is give back and it's not it's not as much as we'd like and hopefully as we grow we can do more things and be involved more in the community because it's also something that we want to teach our kids is that you have to you have to support the place you live and you have to give back to others because not everyone is as fortunate as as some so we just want to want to give back that's for sure well that is a that's a great thing to do and i think more companies should really get involved with their community giving back like you guys. I think you're setting a great example for your kids, just for the community and business in a whole. So good job. Um, you had talked about families. You'd like to support the local. Now, people also support you when they hire you, right? Somebody, they like you or whatever, they hire you for their electric. Now, 
what's nice about you guys is not that's not just supporting a large corporate conglomerate electrical company, right? Yep. Right. Yeah, for at this point, we're kind of smaller company. So when you are going with on point electrical contractors, you're not supporting some buddy's gigantic vacation house in another country or another state or wherever they may be you're supporting like local children and local families and we want to get to the point where we are we want to grow but we don't want to lose our personal touch so we're never going to be this huge monstrous company in livingston county we're going to be the company that where we can keep keep our like our personal touch with our clients and our contractors and still support other local families. So we're, that's what we're going for. I think that's a, that's a great kind of motto for your company for uh, on point electric. And they, again, like I said before, they can find you if, if somebody is down in your area and they need an electrical contractor, they can go to electric is how they can find you. Um, Anything else you'd like to tell us, Susanna, about your about electrical on point? Or on oh point gosh, electric? I don't know. I am I'm feeling still so nervous about all of this. I don't know if I've rambled too much or what else I should say. I don't, I well, don't know. I think I think you you've done a great job, and I really love the tips about Facebook about how you found you know found these contractors that you want to work with, and if they're sure. listening here and they're in that area, maybe there's a contractor that's maybe fed up with his you know sub you know electrical person they've been working with, and they sure. should reach out to you again, electrical electriconpoint.com is where they can find you. Well, thank you for being on the show today. I I hope that uh, people reach out great. to you guys and help support your family. And if you like this show, go ahead and give us a thumbs up or rate our podcast. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit that bell so you'll be notified every time we put out a new episode every Tuesday. And again, Susanna, thank you so much for coming on for On Point Electric and I appreciate you coming. Yeah, thanks so much, Tom. Have a great day. Yep, you too. Thank you. If you would like to be a guest on this show, head on over to michigancontractorshow.com. Fill out the form. I'll get back with you when we'll figure out the best time for you to appear as a guest on our show. Thanks again. My name is Tom, and we'll see you on Tuesday.